Alrighty, so my last stop on my third day of touring distilleries in Kentucky was at Heaven Hills Distillery. Heaven Hills Distillery really is sort of a family of uh, various brands. They are the uh, seventh largest alcohol supplier uh, in the USA and the second largest bourbon producer. Um, it is still family owned. They produce 16 bourbon brands. I won't name all of them. Um, as well as cognac, tequila, vodka, various liqueurs, scotch whiskeys, and uh, rum. While there, I tasted the uh, five different bourbons, the McKenna 10-year-old single barrel, which is at 100 proof uh, or 50% alcohol by volume, the Elijah Craig 18-year-old single barrel, which is at 45% uh, alcohol by volume or 90 proof, the Elijah Craig small batch, which is at 47% alcohol by volume and 94% uh, proof, the Larceny, a very special small batch, which is at 92 proof or 46% alcohol by volume, and then the Pikesville Straight Rye Whiskey, which is at 110 proof uh, or at 55% alcohol by volume. In this video, I'll be reviewing um, the Fighting Cock uh, Bourbon, which is at 103 proof. I'll be doing that one second because it's at a higher proof. And uh, first, I'll be doing the Larceny, uh, which is at uh, 92 proof. Um, already, so all the other distilleries, I was able to do a tour um, of uh, the production process, be, be able to see the uh, the mash, um, the uh, stills, um, barrel rooms, and so forth. At Seven Hills, not able to observe production, but they do have a, a really nice um, bourbon museum so that alone is worth stopping and checking out um, so you get an idea of the history of uh, bourbon in Kentucky and they have these little booths where you can push a button and it sort of a, it shoots out a, 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 um, the aromas of various bourbons so if you were there and you know these distilleries they're like Disneyland for adults uh, so if you're bringing your your kids kids kind of don't have much they can do there at least they can at least smell them uh, from this machine. Um, and then there's a sort of round uh, tasting room. Um, so here is a short clip of photos so you can get a sense of what the uh, museum port portion of the visiting center or the tasting center looks like. So let's get into it. So both of these uh, bourbons come with a little sample glass, uh, a little souvenir glass. Here's a, one for a Larceny. And the Fighting Cock comes with actually sort of a ceramic uh, little tasting cup, but I'll be using the uh, Glen Cairn uh, glasses for these. Let's get into the Larceny bourbon. Um, visually, they look pretty much the same. So that's sort of uh, light golden uh, amber. Slight tinge of golden yellow around the edge. Medium intensity on the nose. So the larceny, I get medium plus to a, a, a pronounce intense aromas of. Standard, you know, very typical common 
corn notes that you get in uh, bourbons. So you might describe it as corn flakes, Kellogg's corn flakes, get a little bit of honey, golden raisins, vanilla, minor notes of spice, a little bit of cinnamon, cardamom, maybe nutmeg. All right, so the um, fighting cock, similar, but it does seem to have a little more spice to it, perhaps coming from the rye. So very similar on the nose. I would say a little bit more spice on the fighting cock. And the larceny smells, I'd say a little more, uh, a little sweeter. Get sort of that vanilla pudding, vanilla wafer aromas. A little more um, floral notes on the larceny. But other than that, they're pretty similar. All right, so on the palate. One more. <clears throat> so I've said before in previous videos, I don't like to make a judgment on a wine or a whiskey or any other spirit on the first sip um, because it sort of a shock to your system and your, your palate isn't uh, used to it yet. Um, certain features can seem exaggerated on the first sip. But I would say the larceny, um, it has a bite uh, on entry and the bite kind of sticks around through the middle and into the finish. Um, it's at 46% alcohol by volume, so it's not completely unheard of. But one of the things that I like about bourbons um, is that they are typically smooth in the middle and through the finish. Um, you may recall if you saw the Maker's Mark video, one of the things I really, really liked uh, about those um, is how smooth they are from the middle to the finish. And I've had um, bourbons with a higher proof or alcohol by volume uh, level uh, that were yet still smooth in the middle and the finish. Um, flavor profile wise, uh, flavor profile wise, and the very similar on the palate than it is on the nose. Um, caramel corn, um, butterscotch, maybe some toffee, vanilla, um, spice, vanilla wafers. So that banana pudding character to it. One of the main things about this uh, that I'm not exactly thrilled with, I don't like that spike uh, is maintained in the middle and through the finish. Uh, it, it, that bite does not go away. It doesn't smooth out. All right, let's try the uh, fighting cock. So the larceny goes for about $18, $19 for a seven mil uh, milliliter. And the fighting cock goes for about $22, $23. So it costs a little bit more. The fighting cock also has a bit of a bite on entry. Um, but it doesn't sort of stick around as much as the larceny. The, um, I'm going to stop saying that word fighting cock. I don't know, it just kind of annoys me. I'm going to call it just fighting um the, the the fighting rooster um it has very intense powerful and concentrated flavors um it doesn't have the smooth texture in the middle and the finish uh, that i want to look for and find in bourbons um and so it's just sort of all right the the nose is confirmed on the palate Classic corn notes of caramel corn, uh, Cali's corn flakes, with the vanilla, spice, um, butterscotch, toffee, um, cinnamon, cardamom, you know, so the sort of baking spices notes. I say uh, both of these bourbons, the one thing I'm not exactly thrilled with um, from either one of these is that sort of bite. Now, another bourbon uh, that they produce that I really, really like, and I have uh, bought several bottles of. I prefer the Elijah Craig 
both the 18 year old and the uh, small batch. So um, I've done a review of uh, Elijah Craig before. I've used Elijah Craig to um, make uh, cornbread, which is really, really awesome. So from Heaven Hills Distillery, of all the bourbons that I've tried, the one that I would recommend would be the Elijah Craig. Alrighty, that's about it for this video. I am looking forward to going back to Kentucky. I really enjoyed being there, highly recommend it. Um, there are some distilleries I really wanted to visit, but I didn't have the time, particularly uh, Buffalo Trace. So if I get out there again, um, that will be the first on my list is to visit uh, Buffalo Trace. All right, that's about it for this review. If you have subscribed to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you like this review, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, cheers.